In Texas, a woman's harrowing experience cries of millions of others fighting for abortion laws to be amended in the United States of America. We're talking about Amanda Zulwiski, a resident of Texas, almost died waiting for an abortion. She has now sued the state after being denied appropriate medical attention. The abortion law debate in the U.S. has been a row for a lot of time and that the country has mulled over for a few years now. That is after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the Roe v. Wade ruling on June 24, 2022. A fractured line ran through the United States, dividing states between those that allow abortion and those that ban the previously constitutional right. This means that the doctors in Texas are barred from performing abortion procedures until the mother's life is under a threat. Amanda was 18 weeks pregnant with a much-awaited baby, but complications in the pregnancy meant an inevitable miscarriage. She asked the doctors for an abortion, which they refused. Under the law, Amanda then went into a septic shock which not only threatened her life but also led to medical complications that dented her future prospects of having a baby. The incident comes to light in the backdrop of an ongoing dissent against criminalizing abortion. Those pushing against the right are alleged of putting the demographic asking for it in a box, colored, single and uneducated. But Amanda defies all these check boxes. Being advocated as a decision that is pro-life, the overturned rule on abortion leaves millions of women vulnerable to life-threatening situations. The removal of abortion rights from the Constitution does not stop abortions. It just criminalizes the methods to carry out the procedure safely.